10 Massive Pawn Stars Deals The only thing we love more than the drama and the crazy stunts on Pawn Stars is the items themselves. Often carrying a lot of historical significance, some of the customers of the Gold and Silver Pawn Shop have found gold in the form of old items just sitting in boxes at home. Join us as we go through the 10 biggest Pawn Star deals ever. Number 10. Dutch East India Trading Company Bell This customer came into the shop with a historic bell from a ship of the Dutch East India Trading Company. Not knowing its value, she had even thought of just selling it for a few bucks in a yard sale. Luckily for her, she decided to hold on to it just in case. While Old Man originally thought it was a fake since it showed very little wear for a supposedly 400 year old bell, an expert confirmed its authenticity, valuing it at a minimum of $15,000. After hearing the price, the customer immediately agreed to a deal. Number 9. Spanish Fleet Gold Coin In 1715, disaster struck a Spanish fleet that was traversing the Atlantic Ocean. The fleet left Cuba on a journey back to Spain and was carrying millions of pesos in gold and silver doubloons when a hurricane struck the ship, sinking it near the coast of Florida. A customer named Jody had inherited the coin from his family and was hoping to score 2000 for it. Again, the old man was skeptical, but experts confirmed it to be an authentic 8 Escudos coin that was worth $18,000. When he was told its value, the customer happily walked away with $11,000 in his pocket. Number 8. Edward Curtis Photographer The biggest return the Harrisons had in their shop came before the show even aired. Back in the 90s, a woman approached the store with four photographers, which are photos that are etched into pieces of metal. The old man didn't know anything about photographers and paid $50 for them because he figured why not since they look cool. To his surprise, they were extremely valuable and the shop sold them for $20,000. Number 7. Order of the White Eagle Medallion One customer entered the shopping explaining to the team that he was a yard sale fanatic. He scoured sales regularly, always hoping to find a hidden gem. When he found this emblem that was being sold for 75 cents, he bought it and immediately brought it to the pawn shop, asking for $6,000. Rick felt the medallion might even be worth more than that, so he got it. After appraisal from an expert, it was discovered that the White Eagle Medallion dated back to the era of the Tsar's occupation of Poland and was worth an astounding $30,000. Number 6. The Book of Mormon Customer Adam appeared on the show when he brought in a dusty old copy of the Book of Mormon. The book had been printed in 1842 and was a 5th edition copy of the original. He knew it was valuable but didn't realize how much until expert Rebecca Romney appraised it at $40,000. The book had been printed while the founder of Mormonism, Joseph Smith, was still alive and was actually the last book printed before his passing. Adam took home $24,000 and all parties left satisfied. Number 5. 1554 Spanish Gold Bar It's the dream we've all had at one point. A Pawn Star customer was cleaning out the belongings of his recently deceased grandfather when he came upon a thin gold bar stashed away in a nondescript box with no explanation. He took it to Pawn Stars, only finding out that the raw gold value was worth 24000 which is an excellent deal. He was about to take it, but he decided to hold off until it was appraised by an expert. The news came back that the bar was actually 500 years old, being a part of the Spanish shipwreck off Padre Island in Texas increasing its value to nearly $50,000. Number 4. 2001 Patriots Super Bowl Ring Former Patriots defensive back Brock Williams had hit a rough patch following his peak in the 2001 Super Bowl. Williams' career was cut dramatically short after he faced injury after injury. This put him in a tight financial spot and he decided to pawn off the ring for $2,600. He had 120 days to reclaim it by paying off the loan, but he never did. Today, the gold and silver pawn shop lists it for sale at a staggering $100 hundred thousand dollars but that's mainly because they don't want to let it go just yet it's really valued at around thirty thousand dollars number three suitcase full of silver rick and the old man were astonished when they saw a customer haul in a suitcase filled with silver he had been keeping stashed away in a storage unit for nearly a decade they had never dealt with so much silver at once after weighing everything inside the briefcase they discovered it came out to a grand total of three thousand three hundred ounces they paid $110,000 for the entire thing and have found creative ways to use the silver, such as minting $70 coins honoring the old man. Number 2. JFK's Cigar Box A seller came into the shop one day with an unassuming box of cigars, but the little wooden case had actually belonged to the late John F. Kennedy and had sat on his desk in the White House. The seller asked for a whopping $95,000 for the item and after some haggling went home with $60,000. This was a steal for the shop since similar items have been sold for a grand total of $575,000 in the past. Number 1. Stefan Stills Guitar 
Musical instruments that were formerly owned by legendary artists long gone are common in pawn shops, and they go for a ton of money. One customer walked into the shop with a 1941 Gibson SJ200 guitar that belonged to Stephen Stills of Stills, Crosby & Nash. Its authenticity was undeniable since it came with a receipt and the musician's signature. Harrison was salivating at the offer and quickly took it home for $85,000. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Let us know in the comments down below what you thought of the list. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the little bell for those weekly video updates. See you in the next one. Peace.